Hello and welcome to Glasgow Rangers Nation with me, your host, Evan. Guys, thank you for choosing to watch the video. Thank you for coming to check up on your team every single day. Reminder, that is what our channel does. Myself and Victoria, we bring you your team every single day. Glasgow Rangers and the day the Glasgow Rangers update every single day to you, uh, the viewer, to you, the fan. That's what we're here, here for, is to bring you those updates. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about, obviously, the latest transfer rumours, the latest updates around Glasgow and around our heroes in Royal Blue. Now, obviously, we're heading into a vital period for Rangers. You know, obviously, five games to go in the season. There's a semi-final on Sunday, which is going to be a huge, massive game. Um, obviously, we need to get the battle fever on for that one. But, uh, Obviously, there's a more thought is being given towards the end of the season, towards the summer off season in terms of the rebuild that needs to happen at Rangers and the fact that Rangers need to vastly overhaul their playing squad if they are to put in a serious challenge to our friends from across the city next season. Obviously, we've pretty much let them have it their own way this season and, and the squad that we currently have has underperformed on numerous occasions and has, I think in a lot of cases, overstayed its uh, usefulness in Glasgow. Um, players gone stale, players ready to move on, players out of contract, players ready and needing to leave. Well, this morning there has been a link to a player that um, could well be coming to Rangers in the summer. Now, if we go back in time to Michael Beale's press conference where he said that when, we, when Rangers sign players, it will become obvious the links uh, between him and the players or between his coaching staff and the players. And in the latest link that we have to a guy called Chris Willock, we have two glaring links between Michael Beale and Willock and one of his coaching staff and uh, Chris Willock. So let's find out a little bit about Chris Willock and then we'll discuss what he could bring to Glasgow Rangers and the likelihood of this deal going through. So what do we know about him? Well, we know that he is from Walton Forest in England. He's 5'10". He's a winger, uh, naturally a left winger. Also can play right wing, also can play attacking midfield. So can fill in in any of those front three positions. Now, with the likelihood, obviously, of Ryan Kent moving on in the summer um, and the fact that Fashion Sakala continues to flatter to deceive in numerous games, Willock could certainly be a valuable addition to the side in that aspect. Uh, Willock began his career at Arsenal. Um, he was uh, signed to the Arsenal Youth Academy, came up through the Arsenal Youth System, um, played in a League Cup tie uh, for Arsenal, um, certainly someone who Arsene Wenger apparently branded a very interesting player. Now, what is worth noting here is that during his time at Arsenal, uh, Willock worked extensively with Neil Banfield, who is one of the coaches on Michael Beale's staff. Obviously, Mark, Neil Banfield, who has a vast experience of working with Arsenal, working with the youth setup at Arsenal and working under inspirational French manager Arsene Wenger um, and Willock was one of Banfield's protégés. So there is link number one between Willock and Rangers staff. Um, from there, he went to Benfica, where he played for Benfica's B team. He made 64 appearances, scoring 14 goals between 2017 and 2020. Um, you know, he was actually signed to the Benfica full team. Never actually played for Benfica's full team. But interesting that a club as big as Benfica saw promise in this young man. He was sent back on loan during that time to West Brom, where he didn't appear at all. Um, and then in 2020, he went on loan to Huddersfield, where he made 14 appearances, scoring two goals. In 2020, he was transferred back to London to play for Queen's Park Rangers, another Rangers, uh, where he made 82 appearances, scoring 16 goals. And therein comes your next link to Rangers coaching staff. Now, I know he wasn't signed by him, but Willock was a player that was extensively used by Michael Beale during his time as Queen's Park Rangers manager. Obviously, a reminder that Beale's first managerial job before he came to Rangers was in those six months that he spent at QPR, when he had QPR actually contesting at the top of the championship, um, certainly for the championship title. QPR now in relegation, relegation danger since Beale has left. Um, but Willock was certainly a fundamental part of Beale's squad. Uh, he's represented England at several of the under under age age group levels, uh, never actually progressing to the under-21s or the full England squad, of course. But Willock is certainly someone who appears to be interesting Rangers. And given those links to Michael Beale and Neil Banfield, it's a very real possibility that this link is true and it could be a real possible move that he would make that they would the club would make as they seek to rebuild the squad this season he's made 26 appearances for qpr's first team scoring six goals and having two assists that's eight go goal contributions in 26 games he's played in 45 percent of qpr starting 11s he played 41 percent of the competitive minutes in the uh, championship for qpr and has had 19 percent participation in qpr's goals 
this season. Has not been booked, has not been red carded at all, so has a very good disciplinary record. Willock is quick, he's tricky, he's skillful. And like I said, he it could be the man that Rangers are targeting to be the replacement for Ryan Kent. Now, given the fact that obviously he has played it in the championship, he's used that physical rough and tumble. The physical nature of the championship is clear to see. If you have watched any championship football in England, you'll see that it is a very physical, intense league. Uh, you come across a lot of teams who want to put low blocks on, who want to battle, who want to fight, who want to kick, as well as teams who play football. So it is, you know, an environment that would actually prepare you for playing in the Scottish Premier League um, in terms of that physicality and that million miles an hour of the old firm. Willock is certainly someone I think Michael Beale is interested in and would be attracted to given his links to him and the extensive use he made of him during his time at QPR. Uh, like I said, speedy, tricky, good winger. Um, you know, certainly someone I think that Rangers could be interested in. This could be uh, yet another English player coming up to Glasgow, given obviously the links yesterday to uh, goalkeeper Jack Butland. Uh, Butland and Willock would certainly represent very good transfer business at the start of this window. Two very, very good players. And at 25 years old, Willock still has time to develop and improve. Um, and given, obviously, the fact that Rangers want to operate the trading model, you know, it's certainly a situation where Willock is kind of a no risk. You know, the fact that if he develops and gets better, he could be sent back down to England for a substantial bigger fee. You know, given the fact that English clubs are always willing to pay a whole lot more money than other clubs around the world. And if the move just doesn't really work out, you can always sell him back to the championship, given the fact that he has had success in the championship with QPR. So really, it's kind of a no-lose situation for Rangers, but certainly someone who I think could make a difference to this team. And it does seem a very real possibility. Well, Rangers fans, let me know, what do you think of Chris Willock? Chris, would he make a good Glasgow Ranger? Is he the sort of player you want to see in the Royal Blue next year and contending for a first-team place and pushing, obviously, our friends from across the city? Well, guys, let me know in the comments below your thoughts. I'm back to speak to you again on this channel as we build up, obviously, towards that big semi-final on Sunday. It's been a pleasure speaking to you, as always, guys. Please keep checking out Glasgow Rangers Nation and remember to hit that sub, ring that notification and give the video a like. Thank you.